All right, and unfortunately, Aaron, no updates on the investigation. Quintero's case remains cold, and investigators have told his family there's no leads at this time. And as time goes on, the probability of finding the murderer becomes less and less. We don't need to have a hatred or bullies and stuff. You know, we need people who just can stand up to them. Lupe Calderon fights back tears, knowing as the days turn to years, what she's looking for becomes more difficult to find. It's devastating to lose a child. It is the worst pain you could ever imagine. She says that pain doesn't change. Now, three years later, the only thing that's different is her desire for answers. I don't care about my feelings. I want justice for Julian. Julian Quintero was gunned down three years ago Wednesday. She said her 20-year-old son was defending a friend after uninvited guests arrived at a party in the Oak Hills neighborhood. Julian got shot in the back three times. The football player and music lover's death sparked outrage in North Monterey County. We did a march, a piece of march in Castroville a few days after Julian passed away. Maybe I just watched too much TV, I don't know, but I expect in three years, have something. But so far, the Monterey County Sheriff's Office has no leads. These individuals, they got away with it so far, and you don't know what else they're doing to other people. Calderon says on the anniversary of her son's death, she lives her life the way Julian would have wanted her to. I just want today not to be a reflection of, of anything other than Julian's love. I don't want sadness. I want to choose the good memories in his life. I want to choose what Julian signified to each one of us, and a lot of that is love. And I just uh, don't want to give up on the pursuit of justice. Now, according to the FBI, today only 64% of homicides are solved. 50 years ago, that number was more than 90%, Aaron, and that's kind of shocking when you consider all the technological yeah. advancements law enforcement has made in solving crimes. You'd think that number would be higher. Certainly heartbreaking for that mother. Right. All right. Thank you, Christopher. If you have any information on this case, you are asked to call the Monterey County Sheriff's Office, and remember, you can remain anonymous.